Good afternoon, I am going to show you how to do a saltwater etch on an aluminium pedal enclosure. So first I've masked off my design with a bit of masking tape and then a piece of paper with the design printed on it and then masking tape over the top of that. You'll then need to take a small craft knife to cut out the parts that you want. So go over the masking tape and the paper that should just pop free like that and then take away the tape underneath it as well and then peel it away so you've got the exposed metal you'll then need to take a 9 volt battery with two crocodile clips and a small pot of water with some salt in it to make some salt water stir the salt water up and then you're going to need to take the red end of your crocodile clip and clamp it to the aluminium like I've done here and put the other end on the positive of the battery and then the uh, black crocodile clip will go on the negative of the battery and to the other end you need either a drill bit or a, an allen key this sort of uh, that kind of metal basically and then pour your salt water over the parts you want etched you can do it using a sponge or a small syringe and then just take your uh, electrode and apply it to the salt water. You should hear it fizzing and you'll see it start to turn darker as well. I find for a design of about this side about 30 seconds will do the trick but you can do it longer if you want a, a, a deeper etch. So this particular design is from one of my Shagpile pedals, which is an envelope controlled uh, double tracking quasi chorus pedal available on my website. I don't normally do etching on them, but this was a special order. You can go over it and then what I tend to do is dab it dry with a paper towel. Just check you've got a nice even coverage of the etch and then afterwards you can go over it again by applying a little bit more salt water if you need to and then uh, etching a bit more like that And then once you're satisfied with, with the results, you can dab it dry with a paper towel. Make sure you haven't got any uh, surface moisture. Get it as dry as you can and then just go ahead and peel off your masking tape. should come away nice and easily, but you might get some little bits stuck to the design, but that's okay. So you can scrub them with a, a bit of uh, wet and dry paper if you want to get all the little bits away. And what I do is just take uh, the craft knife and peel away some of the larger parts like that. There you go. That's your saltwater etch.